The first thing that I do in the morning when I wake up is I check that the bunnies are okay. I then make my bed to make sure that it's nice and tidy. This is actually new bedding that my mum got me for Christmas, so thank you mum. And I think it's just nice to make your bed when you first get up in the morning and it just means that you're not coming home to like a messy house. I give my hands a quick wash and I head downstairs and pop my air freshener on. Usually in the morning I will make a coffee, but today I decided to make a cup of tea. I didn't have any normal cow's milk in the house and I hate coffee with oat milk, but I love tea with oat milk. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting ready for New Year's. So this is the kind of time of the morning where I like to chill for a bit and it just kind of wakes me up. So I'm going to sit, drink my tea, I've got a blanket and I'm going to watch about 20 minutes of YouTube and it just kind of gets me motivated for the day. I try and watch a video to motivate me into the morning. So sometimes I watch cleaning videos, which I know some people would think that is weird. Um, but today I'm watching a makeup video and I am gonna be kind of inspired to do my makeup later on because sometimes when I'm at home by myself, I just can't be bothered to do my makeup. But if I've watched a YouTuber doing their makeup, then I will be motivated to do mine and I've got another video to film later on. So I really do wanna do my makeup today. I am gonna put my glasses on because I need them to watch the TV now. Now, my eyes are deteriorating. I also have this 2023 goals planner and this is what I'm gonna be writing in every single day. We have the months down the side. For example, we have April and then here you can write your goals. So for example, personal goals, health goals, um, what you wanna focus on for this month, important dates, that could be like birthdays, work goals and financial goals which is really important for me this year for saving for a house so this is quite a nice handy page kind of for each month and that's sort of why i got this book in the first place then you have kind of like an overview of the month where you can write kind of important things that could be happening each day sorry my radiator is making a lot of noise and then you have your daily plan so every single day i will write a little to-do list of what i want to get done each day and then at the end of each day i will tick off whether i got that done or not and then i will write what i actually did that day so for example yesterday my parents came over for a meal yesterday evening i would then tick off whatever i had completed that day or you know crossed it if i hadn't done it and then underneath i would have written also my parents came over last night and i just like to have a diary just so that i can look back at this in the future or if i'm like oh i don't know when i did this or i don't know when this happened i actually have a written down diary of exactly what i've done just to kind of refer back to in this planner there is also a section for birthdays to kind of remind you of birthdays it says thank yous but i'm going to use that for like birthday cards reminders I like a notes section um, which I'm going to use for planning my expenditure and I write in this every single morning and every single night I then head upstairs and I let the bunnies have a little run around. Yes, I know it's messy. I hoover up every day in this room. I clean up their poos every single day, but we just have to deal with the mess, okay? I also washed my face and I was about to do my makeup. And as you can see, the bunnies just run around as I'm doing my makeup. They are very interested in everything that I'm doing every morning. Yes, they do make a mess, but they don't tend to pee on the floor, which is good for me. I don't like the peeing, but the poos I don't mind because they're easy to pick up. This is my new makeup bag that I got for Christmas and also this eyeshadow palette I got for Christmas as well. And that is what I was using to do my makeup today. My makeup for work every day tends to remain very similar, quite the same. I just kind of vary what eyeshadow I do. Also, my foundation is a tad too dark for my skin, as you'll see in a minute. No peeing. No peeing. Okay, no peeing. I don't have treats, I'm sorry. He may have peed. He hasn't peed.
I really enjoy doing my makeup in the morning. I find it's a time where I can relax. I can do something that I enjoy doing because I do enjoy doing my makeup. And it's just a time to kind of think. I often put YouTube on my laptop. So for me, this is just a time to kind of wake myself up a little bit. I would hate to jump straight out of bed and just have to get immediately ready in five minutes and head off to work. I really like this kind of time to just wake myself up for the day. So I was actually filming this video on a weekend, so it wasn't actually a true morning routine for what I do before work, but this is roughly what I do before work. I wouldn't normally have a shower, which I did this morning, and I also curled my hair this morning, which I wouldn't normally do either, but I didn't show that in the clips because I didn't want it to be misleading. I also just sprayed myself with some perfume and then the final thing that I do before I go to work is I always make my lunch for the day. So, well actually my lunch is always made but I just kind of gather it together. So I grab my sandwich, my crisps and like a chocolate bar or something and I just pop that in my work rucksack to take with me and also some water as well. We cannot forget the water. So I am now ready for the day. I've done my hair. I have actually curled my hair. I don't usually curl my hair. And if it was a genuine 6 a.m. morning routine, because I'm not actually filming this on my day of going to work because it would take me too long to film and do my actual morning routine. But yeah, I would never curl my hair on a normal day. So I didn't show that because that wasn't realistic. Just like I would never have a shower before going to work either because that is also not realistic. But those are things I needed to do this morning. So I am sorry. Um, but yes, makeup is done, hair is done and I'm dressed for the day. Normally what I would do just before I go to work is I would just do a little sweep round in terms of like not an actual sweep with a brush but I would just pick up anything that's messy I would put away any kind of washing up that had been on the side and just make sure it's a nice tidy environment for when I get home I feel like if you have a tidy house you have a tidy mind and it just means that when I get back in from work I just feel a lot happier and a lot more productive and that it's a nice space for me to then go and do a workout and just to be more productive just before leaving, I pop on my safety shoes and I also grab my rucksack so that I have everything that I need for going to work. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a good day. Apologies if you can hear the noise of my radiator. Thank you for watching my morning routine. I will be filming an evening routine, I think next week. So please subscribe, stick around for that. Like the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video, which will be on Monday at 6 p.m. Goodbye.